In tonight's continuing coverage in Aubrey, firefighters continue to pour water on hot spots for the uh, deck fire. The fire broke out yesterday near a lumber yard and then spread to nearby grass and trees. CBS 47's Justin Sacher shows us the strategies firefighters are using. In a matter of just one day, logs stacked two stories tall have been reduced in burning to about five to ten feet. But firefighters say there's still so much fuel densely packed in there that it could take days through this weekend before the fire is fully extinguished. We're having to draw from different places around uh, the area as far down as Millerton Lake at the boat ramp just so we don't draw any one system down because obviously everybody's on a well up here. Battalion Chief Roger Rains was one of the first on the scene Wednesday after reports that sparks from a saw may have set the logs on fire. Half this log deck was fully involved when I got here. A lot of heat coming off it. Today they pulled off enough that we could get the hard equipment in there, uh, the heavy equipment in there to pull it apart and just throw a bunch of water on it to cool it down before we get the uh, really hot, dry weather. Conducive for spot fires and transport of embers, and that's what we're worried about. How long could this stay burning? My hope is a couple days, but it could be weeks depending on how deep seated the fire is. Firefighters focus on certain parts of the fire determined by wind direction and the arrangement of the Logs. Typically, uh, there's not a lot we can do. Um, usually, we let it burn down, and that's what we actually did last night. We concentrated on the perimeter that would give us issues with spot fires and so forth. Logging is a substantial part of the area's history. Aubury, like other nearby towns, is home to several lumber mills. Things like this happen. I mean, we we have fires and log decks like this. We it's no different than having fires in all my whole uh, piles on the west side uh, and some of the junkyards or haystack fires. Just some weather is really conducive for fires and, and natural vegetation like this. In Aubury, Justin Sacher, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.